So today, I will be discussing a summary of the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. On January 28, 1986, seven astronauts were killed when the space shuttle they were piloting, the Challenger, exploded just over a minute into the flight. The failure of the solid rocket booster, O-rings to seal properly allowed hot combustion gases to leak from the side of the booster, burn through the external fuel tank. The first significant shuttle accident was the Challenger explosion. President Ronald Reagan established a special committee to investigate what went wrong with the Challenger and to create future corrective measures in the wake of the accident. The failure of the O-ring was attributed to several factors, including faulty design of the solid rocket boosters, insufficient low temperature testing of the O-ring, materials and of the joints that the O-ring sealed, and lack of proper communication between levels of NASA management. The purpose of the Challenger mission was to launch two satellites into space. One satellite would be picked up two days later after observing, observing Halley's Comet. It would be Halley's Comet's closest approach to the Sun. Barbara Morgan was selected to be the backup candidate for NASA's teacher in the space program. As a result, NASA did not send astronauts into the space for more than two years as it redesigned a number of features of the space shuttle. In September 1988, space shuttle flights resumed with the successful launching of the Discovery.